Hello everyone and welcome to a new IK video. This is Ken from 49 and in this video guys I want to talk about something that is very important and a few things I made videos about which is VIP level whether it is worth it to spend gems on the VIP level or not. Uh, earlier I spent a lot of gems on my VIP level. I spent up to maybe 150,000 gems on my vip level because i was in a hurry to reach vip 15 and i'm still i am by the way however there are some priorities that i'm focusing on right now this is why i'm saving my gems and i could reach vip 15 right now i have here 39,000 uh, vip points and here over 130,000 points this is a total of more than 170,000 vip points i could spend around 80 i just calculated it and i could spend like literally 67 thousand gems on my vip level and i could reach vip 15 as of right now however i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna do this right now because i need to save as much gems as possible because of the kvk skills now currently i don't have any kvk skills and you guys know how important kvk skills are there's like the snipe that i need for my Trinkigis. there's full coverage that i need either for my atella or my hippolyta and there's siren's gaze i'm not either i'm not even sure how i'm gonna use this skill maybe on charles on an earth march not 100 sure there's also storm eye that i don't really like however if i got it i will have like a replacement for annihilation I could move Annihilation between my Empress 1 Merlin. It is nice to have an additional mage skill right now. I could even bring my Cleopatra. There is also Victorious Pursuit. This skill here is so important for Holy Marches. Everyone is using it either on Kupla Icon or you could use it also on Manko. It is best on Manko. However, I'm not even sure how I'm going to use it myself. However, you could use it on an Immortal such as Hippolyta as well and it's going to have a very high value uh there is spell disintegrator this is probably if not uh, certain the most broken skill that you could use for a mage and it works so well on empress who combined with uh, chase it could work on merlin so well as well and i have both immortals so kindly i i really need this skill i have like 54 Stones right now i'm so close to unlock spell disintegrator and i think this is gonna be my first kvk skill uh also berserker since i'm running a mixed march right now i really need berserker berserker is one of the most broken skills that you need for a mixed march i remember that this skill has been nerfed twice the first time the skill has been released it has a physical damage up to 50 percent and an attack speed up to 50 percent then it was nerfed to around maybe 35 or 30 and now it is at 25 i think the nerf was on point i think the skill is still very strong however uh, not as broken as the first time it appeared in tower of knowledge and by the way no one ever used it when it was 50 percent because it wasn't even available this skill is available starting season three i think or the uh, conquest season i don't remember exactly however it is kind of weaker compared to the first time it was appeared there's also wine rage that is as important as not as important as berserker however it's so strong on mixed marches as well maybe i could use it on alex or hani works so well on both immortals and then it repeats the same skill so these are all the kvk skills that you could get from the kv cages and i recommend that if you're not a high spender if you're not a whale if you cannot afford all the gems to unlock all these skills then you gotta wait until your server could win the kvk because the odds that you get this uh, skills from the divine's proxy which is the strongest chest or the best chest that you could get from the kvk is higher because you can see here that you could get up to three stones per roll or one stone per roll here beside you get a lot of immortal fragments and also some speed ups and some resources for the other chests here 
I think this is the weakest chest. It doesn't. Uh, it has only four skills. It has snipe, storm eye, spell disintegrator, and berserker. And the other chest. I think this is the strongest. Not sure about the other chest. I cannot select it. Anyway. Uh, this one here has Margaret only. The big chest has Margaret and Tukugal. Anyway, I recommend if you're not a whale, if you're not a big spender, then you gotta wait until your server win or take a hold of your mare and win first place in a KVK so you get to unlock the big chest. This is why I'm saving gems right now. This is why I'm still holding back to spend gems on my VIP level. However, I could let go because we have Run of the Supreme Roots phase almost done. There's like I'm not sure. Take a look at the schedule. First round, first match. Uh interregional elimination group. This one this phase here starts at the 15th. So I think this is the last day at the interregional group match. If I got a hard opponent that I'm not 100% that I could beat when it comes to the interregional match, then maybe, maybe then I'll rethink or reconsider to spend gems on my VIP level. However, when I started, I could have spent almost 170,000 gems on my VIP level to reach uh, VIP 15. And with some patience right now, I only get to spend like less than 70,000 gems. So maybe a little more patience and I could avoid spending any gems on my VIP level. And I'm so close actually to reach VIP 15. So I'll give it some more time until I get to VIP 15. This is everything I wanted to talk about in this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful day.